When a company that usually makes bulldozers and things that make the earth shake decides to make a phone, you can bet it's gonna be one of the most rugged phones possible. Seeing the Cat S60 in person, there is no doubt that this phone is about survival. From the carbon fiber looking back, chunky exterior to the metal casing surrounding the edges, it looks, well, in a way like their bulldozers, even complete with the yellow accents. The Cat S60 is cable being dropped from 1.8 meters directly onto concrete. It's also military spec certified and can survive in two meters of water for up to an hour. You can even toggle the two gold switches next to the speakers to mechanically shut each of those to get down to five meters of water for an hour at the cost of being able to use said microphone and speakers. Comparing that to the most popular other active life marketed phone, the Galaxy S7 Active, uh, 1.5 meters for 30 minutes, similar military specs, but no drop to concrete claims, it's probably safe to say that it's one of the most rugged phones on the market right now. Besides the sheer rugged nature, it's actually not too shabby when it comes to other specs. With an octa-core Snapdragon 617 and three gigs of RAM and a thankfully stock Android 6.0.1 build, it's pretty snappy. And while the display won't win any awards, it's only 4.7 inches and 720p, uh, it is easily visible in bright sunlight, which I imagine is a bigger concern for cat than resolution. The camera on the device isn't the best either, uh, but you do get a 13 megapixel rear shooter that does perform pretty well in normal lighting conditions and just kind of lacks a bit when it comes to low light situations. The other camera on the back of the phone though is a bit more impressive. Another big differentiator of this phone is the fact that it has a full-blown thermal imaging camera made by FLIR that when turned on can not only show you heat signatures but even tell you the temperature. I had a great time with my friend Michelle Ragusis at a restaurant in Provincetown, Massachusetts, checking to see the inaccuracies of the fryer's temperature and then just being blown away by checking the temperature on the food that was coming out of the kitchen. I also used it in the desert to find the collections of people, which meant that there were parties in those areas, and then used it to figure out how my refrigerator draws heat away from the food inside. Okay, so probably not the most practical of use cases, fine. Uh, but their target demographic is people that are, say, construction workers, and there are some other use cases I could think of uh, that I probably just wouldn't use, but they might like to check for hot spots within the walls of a building or a burst pipe or any of that type of stuff as well. I was honestly surprised at just how much I liked this phone. I brought it with me to a festival in the Nevada desert where I was beaten by dust storms, had to go from summer temperatures to winter on a daily basis, a beach cottage on a lake in Canada where I was going from water to sand then to dinner, and a small fishing village in New England climbing watchtowers and checking out what animals were around at low tide. Throughout it all, I had a confidence in my phone that I don't think we normally have when doing outdoor activities with our let's be honest, delicate, expensive pieces of technology that we just happen to carry around with us at all times. Not once was I worried that I would drop it or that I needed to shelter it, or if I wanted to just jump in the water, I never had to even take it out of my pocket and leave it on the shore. Many people have taken a look at this phone and told me how bulky or large or ugly it is, and while I agree to some extent, I probably would not give up my super sleek smaller phone uh, considering I live in New York City, but if I was doing some type of adventure or trip, or if I l had more of an outdoorsy lifestyle, I might consider it. Just like we all love supercars and sports cars, sleek and shiny is not always what you need. Sometimes you need a truck. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this phone, of this concept, who would buy it. Um, and also what you think of this video in general. Always love hearing from you guys. And if you did like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.